Hello, uh, am I audible? Uh, okay. I guess we are live today for the session. Mm. Okay, it's eight uh, twenty twenty two. Uh, let's wait for three more minutes. Uh, by then, let everybody join. Uh, Okay, uh, just for the starters, uh, we had a good first session. Uh, we talked about very basics. We talked about how things work, how what is the very basic command used to get into Git, get familiarized with Git. Uh, I showed you some working examples. We have had definitions. Uh, pretty much the same way in this session also, we'll be dividing it into like, Last time we had three sections, but we did not complete it. This time we will be more practical. We'll have only two sections. First, uh, we'll go through. Okay, so first we'll go through uh, what we revised, uh, our previous sections, then we'll go through what is new, what is the more advanced thing. I may share my screen. Okay. Okay. Okay, here we go. yeah uh okay so pretty much it uh we we learned all these in it add commit push pull branch fetch log merge now today we'll look more into these things these are very very interesting commands and when i say interesting it is indeed interesting and for the starters uh we'll as you said we'll first look into what we revised so that we get into very much detail and you know just it kind of good to switch from basic to intermediate level and then for the second half or in between if you have any questions you can put and for the second half we'll pick up major questions from you because these commands will definitely have lots of questions okay starting with this uh i should not full screen this okay <clears throat> fine uh let's begin with the terminal i guess Okay, so just one minute. Huh? Just one. Okay, here we go. Fine. Uh, so today, if I uh, for the revision, uh, what was in it? So in it was basically when we have a folder, Git. How will Git as a tool understand that what to track and what not to? So basically, when we have a folder, we use Git in it to say that this is my folder, and I want this to be tracked. So basically, Git understands that this is the place where I needs to start working. So, git init is the command. Uh, 
So if I show you, <clears throat> okay, so this is day two, right? So we should make a folder with day two. So get day two, right? Uh, okay, what was that? Hmm. Okay, so we are in the second day of session. So basically, this won't have anything. So git in it is basically to you know initialize things that this is the place where I want you to start functioning. So git in it. So here is the message initialized empty git repository. Okay, so here is the message if you want. Now, there was an empty repository, we initialized it. Now, what we need to do is we need to add. Okay, what was add? When we do a change, suppose we make a, suppose we, yesterday, last time we made an Instagram, suppose today we make a normal website, Facebook. So let's suppose uh, we have facebook.com now equal, let's say Facebook, fine, uh, into facebook.com. Fine. So we added a full, uh, we added a file called facebook.com and in that we have the text Facebook. Okay. So if I see, so it has a text facebook.com. Now, if we do git status, so it will show what is the status where the git is starting from, is starting to function. What is the status? What, whether it is tracking or not tracking. So it says untracked files. So what is untracked file? These are the files you have made changes, but it's still not tracked by Git. So what do you do here? You simply say Git add facebook.com. So basically, this is the file you want to add so that it gets tracked. So you do this now. Run again, Git status. And you see, see, uh, last time we talked about how the color changes from red to green because, you know, Git starts tracking that file. So it it changes to green and it says new file facebook.com is being tracked now you commit the changes so that i want that the text this facebook i want this to be permanent here i want this change to reflect in my main thing so get commit minus m for message and put a very specific message so added title t i t l e added title fine get commit minus m added title fine now the message is very clear one file change that is facebook.com one insertion that is uh, that one line and create more this 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 in the file facebook.com so everything is fine till here now what you say is we in it get add pull push so i made you understand what is the concept of pull and push so basically whenever you do a action like whether it is pull or push okay i feel not sharing the screen oh 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 my bad my bad okay 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 my bad i did not share the screen fine 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 let's go a little of steps back so okay so basically what we did is um, we initialized an empty repository fine and then we made a file facebook.com we wrote a word facebook into the file facebook.com and then we ran the status now as i said it was earlier in red color because it was not tracked by the file now when we ran git add so basically this command git add when we had git add facebook.com so whatever changes we made in the facebook.com got added then we ran git status so it shows that new file is being tracked and you have committed the changes and then we ran git commit minus m added title so basically that's what so sorry my bad i did not share the screen previously okay fine this is it now what you do is yeah, in it add commit pull and push i i basically made you understand what is the concept if you have any doubt you may uh, you know look over to the more exact uh, if i show you exact documentation so get documentation you this this website git dash scm is the 
main documentation page where you can find the explanation the working principles the concept behind any any of the git commands okay now we have also a second version or you say you know an alternate that is from atlassian that is this bitbucket so bitbucket is similar to github and this also provides git tutorials so basically this page goes git tutorial and training i was just for searching for what alternatives you have for learning git command so this is it here you can see all the things have fun uh, basically i prefer this git scm because this is the main one this is the original documentation but uh, yeah fine it's all on you so coming back to our thing fine <clears throat> pull push branch so whenever you create a repository whenever you initialize git you are by default in the main branch main or master so if you write git branch you'll say master now we'll create a branch so git checkout minus b let's suppose feature one so it's f1 is feature one branch okay now we again make a branch called f2 so f2 now if i write git okay let's zoom in yeah that's better yeah pretty much fine so now uh, whenever we create a new branch we create the with uh, the command get checkout minus base for branch and then branch name so now if i do get branch we'll see what are the branches we are on so we are in we have master branch we are on currently f2 that is feature 2 and we have also f1 branch now add commit pull push branch fetch i told you fetch is just first step of pulling so git fetch just looks into what are the changes and does not actually merge the changes then merge merges basically meet making two changes meet and then log so basically if i even do git log here you'll show it will show added title so this is basically the log file what are the changes made in your github in your github project git project and who made the changes author what is his email id when was the changes committed and all that okay fine now we'll move ahead to the advanced concepts okay okay uh, before that uh, like just five minutes if you have any questions regarding this because if you understand this then only you will move ahead okay. so just uh, it's 2035 we'll move it to 2040 okay write your questions down i'll answer it live uh, let me open it and then we'll move ahead okay just five minutes so that it's convenient for both of us perfect <clears throat> okay my bad i did not share my screen i hope it's visible just if any questions if anything comes up okay fine <clears throat> mm, let's move ahead mm -mm. okay mm, so okay oh, fine okay so we are done with this now uh what just in case we are discussing here merge conflict okay so merge is basically merging two files 
Now, what is merge conflict? As the name suggests, merge means meeting two files. Conflict means two files having some other other conflict. Okay. Now let's suppose we are in get branch. We are in F2. Suppose I create a file named home.html, home.txt, suppose home.txt, and write uh, line one from F2. Line one from F2 means this is the first line from F2 branch. Fine. Into home. Fine. So this is from um, F2 branch. Now let's let's make another one so that it becomes easy for you to understand. Okay. Same length. Okay. A little bit smaller so that it gets differentiated. Now I think this will not work. So get uh, switch F1. So we switch to uh good switch. Um, okay. Okay, we are in day one. Okay, so day two, let switch F2. Okay, F2, now we are in F1. So here we were in F2, now we are in F1, fine. Now what we'll do is, we'll, so here we only have, um, no, no. Uh, oh, this was this is F one. Okay. Now from here, let's suppose we create a branch. Uh, sorry, we create a file. Just a minute. Which master? Oh, two times which? Which master? Mm -hmm. That is an issue. Add a title. Okay, so basically we have a file which we added, which is not yet tracked. Okay, which is not yet tracked. Now we'll go uh, this to be included. So since this was from F2, we'll go get switch F2. We'll go there. We'll get add home.txt. We'll get commit uh, line one from branch F2, let's suppose, done. Now we have facebook.com and home.txt in F2. Now we'll switch to F1, switch F1. Now in F1, in F2 we have, so in F2 we have had facebook.com and home.txt in f1 we still only have facebook.com now suppose the developer working on feature one you are the developer working on feature two you added home.txt and line one now i am working on feature one so i will add home.txt and i will write line one from f1 Remember, we wrote there line one from F2. Here we have line one from F1 into home.txt. Fine, done. Now we do the normal procedure get add, get commit. So line one from branch F1. Line one from F1. Done. Now, the F1 branch has facebook.com and home.txt. 
branch two, sorry, feature two has facebook.com and home.txt. But the difference is, first one, the same lines are the same, but there's a difference between line one from F1 from branch, sorry, line one from F1. And here it says line one from F2, fine. Now, suppose we try to merge two branches, F1 and F2. So let's do this, okay. So currently, okay, here it is. Currently, we are in F1 branch. We'll try to merge F2 into F1. So, okay, we are in F1 branch. We are trying to merge F2 in F1. We'll simply write get merge F2. So the syntax is get merge and what is the branch name you want to merge in your current branch. So your current branch is F1. You want to merge F2. So you'll write get merge F2. So you get merge feature 2. If I'll write, see what happens. Interestingly, it says auto merging home.txt. If you have not watched previous video, just go over and have a reference. When we merged two branches, it got easily merged. Why? Because one had totally different changes, another had totally different changes. So none of them were conflicting. Here, file with the same name and at the same place, there are two lines which have totally different meaning. Fine. Now, definitely one has line one from F1, one has line one from F2. So basically F1, F2 differs. Now what happens is auto merging. So basically the process of merging involves auto merging first by git itself so when there's no conflict git auto merges it's called automatic which is feature enabled by git you can watch the previous video now auto merging fails in case you have different changes okay so feature like developer one says that the button will be of red color i'm saying no the button will be of green color so here the difference of opinion comes so auto merging fails now it's dependent on a manager or the senior one who decides which will appeal more to the client like green button or the red button here says conflict, merge conflict in home.txt. So it actually tells, you know, get messages are very crucial. Get messages are very helpful. If you keep on reading, you may find so many helpful, you know, directions to go ahead. It says merge conflict in home.txt. Suppose you have had merge conflict in five files. It will list out all the five files where the merge conflict was there. And says automatic merge failed, fix conflicts, and then commit the result. Now, since you started get merge, it is in between okay how it is in between and interestingly what you'll see the command is if i do okay fresh screen if i do home.txt you'll see interesting line see this is line one from f1 which you remember line one from feature one branch and this is line one from f2 this we understand what is these things we never had wrote these things right we never wrote and when you work in a project where 10 developers work on a single file these lines are very common very very common so you may you might ask we wrote this one we wrote this one but where these three extra lines have come these are added by git to help you see where you are and where the other developer who has committed the code where both where they both are standing suppose as i said you told that the button will be of red color so in that case, this will be red and I told you the button will be of green color. Here it will be green. And between these, these three lines will be mandatory. Fine. Now what it signifies is head. Head means where I am. So where was I? I was in F1 branch. So basically head will be at F1. Now where, which file I was merging? I was merging F2, feature branch 2. So this is from F2. And this is the divider line. Above one is the head and below one is the incoming change. So incoming branch changes in F2, fine. <clears throat> it totally depends if you see the previous message. Mm, yeah, it says fix conflicts and then commit the result. This is the conflict, whether whenever these lines are added in your file, it means there's a conflict. <clears throat> How to resolve the conflict? Okay, there are many, you know, advanced developers and, you know, very experienced developers, they don't even, you know, mind these things because Git conflicts are the very basic things, which, you know, which is very basic. Even in the second or third day of your career, you will find Git conflicts. So <clears throat> get very much familiarized, ask a lot of questions, and then you can move ahead. So these are very common. First step of resolving this, or let me say how I resolve this. Open the file, uh, home.txt. 
fine. There'll be first of all, remove the changes which you don't want. Suppose I am in F1, but I say that okay, my changes are not so good. The incoming changes are better. So my changes means F1 changes are not good. The incoming changes means F2 is good. First, delete your changes. So my changes line one from F1. Just that. I deleted my changes. Then delete all the three lines added from Git. Remember, there'll be only three lines head, divider, and incoming changes. Head means where you are sitting, divider divides the changes, and the last line which says where, like what changes are coming. So divide these, sorry, delete these three extra lines. Fine. Deleted, sorry, uh, merge conflict solved. You basically removed the change which you do not want and then deleted all the three changes, three lines added by Git, and then you save. Now, see, after you have done, it will still show that this changes were done but was not saved. You need to save it, right? So you say git add. Now you say git, uh, git add, git commit. Like merge, conflict, solved. Merge conflict solved. Fine. <clears throat> Get uh, status. You'll have nothing. You'll have all green branch. If you see home.txt, it will see line one from F2. But in which branch you are? You are in F1 branch. You got it? We, even in the previous lectures, in a previous video, we merged two branches. But here we have merged one branch with another having merge conflict. Okay. So here's F1. Here should be F1 because we are in F1. But here is F2 because we resolved the conflict and sorry, we merged the file and then resolved the conflict. Fine. Now, just a quick question or let me say take five minutes or five seconds and then ask which file will be in master or how many files will be in master. Any guess? Only Facebook.com. You know why? Because all the feature branch like home.txt were just one feature, right? All the features were in F1 or in F2. We did not merge anything in master. We did not have anything in master. The only thing we had was Facebook.com. No feature was yet in master. So till now, what we did, we created an F1 branch, we created an F2 branch, handed down to two developers. F1 was creating changes, F2 was creating changes. They collaborated and found that F2 was better. So we retained the changes from F2. We retained the changes. Now F1 and F2 are okay, fine. Now we want that F, the changes from F1 and F2, what is the combined change? We need to merge it into master. Same, same thing we need to do here. What we are sitting on master. Oh, sorry, oh, already on master. So we are sitting on master. We need to merge F1. Why? Because F1 has the combined changes of F1, F2. Let merge F1. Just a quick question whether this will have a merge conflict or not. Yes and no, that's it. This will have a merge conflict or not. Yes or no. Okay, fine. Let's see. No, it did not. Why? Because master was only having facebook.com. F1 was having facebook.com and home.txt. So there's no point of conflict. Home.txt is totally new file coming from a different branch and you don't have any conflict. You don't see any conflict. So it got auto merged, you know, fast forward. So I told you about auto merging feature by Git when there's no conflicting files get auto merges you don't have to see anything so now if you see you have facebook.com and home.txt and in home.txt you have line one from f2 and this goes into your production like facebook.com will show line one from f2 right this is how you resolve merge conflict so merge conflict is totally fine seeing that merge conflict is totally fine you no need to panic like my code is wrong or your code is correct no Definitely not. 
much conflict is very common and that should occur if you have variety of opinions, difference of opinions, but resolving that merge conflict is very good. This is this was just the most basic one, level zero of merge conflict. There will be hundreds and thousands of types of merge conflict, but this is a very basic one. I know this is uh, like this, it took me at least weeks to understand how merge conflicts work. It will definitely take you at least two or three days, but let's carry on. Okay. Let's do something else. Okay. Let's do this once again, just once again, fine. So that it gets revision in your head. Again, fine. Uh, we don't need this one. Okay, I think we need that. Okay. So again, get switch F1. So we are switching to F1 branch. Now, initially we merged F2 to F1. Now we'll merge F1 to F2. Okay. What we have here, facebook.com home.txt. Now we'll add line two from F, line two from F1. Okay. Okay. Let's not make it confusing. We'll make it Apple. Suppose we say Apple. Fine. To home.txt. Fine. Now normal procedure, get add, get commit minus m added apple. Fine. If you want, you can see the log. So the log says merge conflict resolved. This was our previous log. Added apple. This is the most current log. Fine. Now here, get switch f2 switch to f2 here we'll have home.txt and facebook.com in home.txt we have only line one from f2 there's no apple mango now we'll say pose we'll say echo mango in home.txt our usual procedure get add get commit so suppose mango fine now let's switch f1 in f1 if we do home.txt okay uh, the previous line was removed i guess oh okay 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 i put a single arrow okay fine 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 you just understood you just understood the concept right uh Git switch f1 in f1 we have home.txt in home.txt we have a, the file named apple this is just the revision of what we did this is just the revision no nothing extra seriously nothing extra home.txt fine uh, uh and if i do get switch f2 in this we have home.txt in this it says mango so here we have mango, here we have apple. Now we are sitting at F2. Get branch. We are sitting at F2. We are merging F1. This time we are merging F1. So what will the command? Get merge F1. So where you are sitting at F2, what do you want to merge? F1. So what you'll say? Get merge F1. So again, this will incur much conflict. Auto merging failed. Conflict is this, fix conflict and then commit. Okay, just for asking, how many extra lines will be there? Three extra lines. How to see that? Cat home. See, head. Head is where you are sitting. So where we, we were sitting at F2 and we had mango. So see, here is mango. We are sitting at mango and the incoming change is apple. Now suppose he says, no, my change is good. Mango is good. Apple is not good. What he'll do is, He'll open the file. He'll first delete the changes. The changes which is not required. He'll delete the changes which are not required. Fine. Step one, done. Step two, remove all the three lines. Removing line one. Removing line two. Removing line three. Done. Get add. Get commit. Resolve. 
टू कॉन्फ्लिक्ट नाउ ऑन नीट एंड क्लीन वर्किंग ट्री ऑन ब्रांच एफ टू एंड वॉट यूल सी हियर इज मैंगो फाइन बिकॉज वी रिमूव द इनकमिंग चेंजेस दैट सेट दिस इज ऑल मर्ज कॉन्फ्लिक्ट इज नाउ अगेन वॉट विल डू इज वील गो टू मास्टर okay master is having home.txt uh, let's suppose cat .txt so in the file home.txt of master we have line 1 from f2 and here in f2 we have mango if we write get merge f2 do you think it will have auto merging or it will fail or it will have merge conflict yes or no that's it i say we have we have a merge okay home.txt let's find out mm -hmm. okay you know why get okay so cat home.txt we merged f2 directly into this so it says one file changed one insertion and one deletion it says one insertion one deletion home.txt was there home.txt is here the change which was there was pulled here removed the line and put mango now if you say like okay if i say cat home.txt it says mango fine now okay uh, if we go to this branch get branch we have get switch now we are working on a clean neat and neat and clean branch f1 and f2 master is also clean everything is clean now this is all about merge conflict right now rebase rebase is another interesting command okay this will take time stash revert okay revert you know what is revert you know remember i said version suppose version 4 failed so we go back to version 3 and version 2 what is get revert is basically doing the same thing from version 4 let's suppose this one uh, this one so if i do get log resolve food conflict mango apple suppose we did not want uh okay uh let's suppose it's better in master okay resolve food conflict mango added apple added title now suppose we want we do not want any mango apple conflict we were happy with line 1 from branch 1 what do you do you revert back okay so now your file has the content mango but you want the content line 1 from f1 and this was the commit in this hash code so basically what is hash code every commit in git is uniquely identified by a commit hash okay like if i give you an analogy everybody in india is identified by their unique aadhar number right this is their aadhar number so basically every commit you can commit 10000 100000 times in the same project and this commit hash will be different when i was learning it it was very very interesting concept for me and i literally dig deep dug deep i researched what is the probability that this commit will match for the for some other commit in the same code and the result was very fascinating so just as a homework or just as out of curiosity if you want you can do this you can search what is the probability that two commits will have the same code in the same project not in my project or your project it's the same project uh, we are working on one project suppose we have 100 people working so can you imagine Google works on Git, Facebook works on Git, so Amazon works on Git. 
so many developers working on so much of code everyone pushing and committing like for now we have added almost 10 commits so suppose me sharing screen for one hour have come done 10 commits so just imagine developers working on big companies so they literally commit 100 times a day and like 100000 developers committing 100 times a day but still no commit matches with each other it's an interesting concept if you want you can hover you can give it a thought but again coming back to the topic every commit has a hash code and it's not necessary to remember the entire hash the first six are very important so each hash code for the reward process i'm telling for the reward process or for any other process just first six are very important so if you want to reward back you can literally say get reward we are studying this get revert. So you can say get revert this code. So we have 352625. 352625. So get revert this. Now, again, we met with a conflict. What is this? Is a modify or a delete in home.txt? version head home.txt and it says could not revert this why because it was merge conflict again now if you see it says after resolving the conflict mark them with git add and after you resolve the conflict you have the same process git add git commit and those 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 things what is the state of our file mango where we wanted to do that line one from f2 from branch f uh, three five two six two five so basically line one from branch f1 we wanted this now we don't have this why home deleted in parent branch the home.txt was deleted in parent branch line one from f1 and modified in head can you imagine the head okay uh, this is another concept called head uh, which just revert uh, like diverting a little bit from revert you see this dot git folder there's a very uh, important concept called head it's a concept it's not a command it's concept head head is where you are currently you may be working in any of the commit in any of the branch but wherever you are working when i say wherever you are sitting like I said, you are sitting at branch F2 and you are merging F1. So basically the word sitting has a technical definition in Git called head. Uh, so that, that, that all information is stored in dot git folder, fine. Coming back to this, git revert. What was the message? Just imagine what was the message? 3625, what is that? 3625. See, reverting is not possible because you have uh, unmerged files. Okay. Okay. So basically, we had revert. We ran git revert. Could not revert. Now, we have an open file here. Now, we'll again git add git commit revert okay 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 so we are in middle of a revert we we need not to do this we are in the middle of revert so basically if you want the changes you can do the changes or if you don't want the changes it says git revert minus minus abort so this cancels the entire operation or skip will skip the entire patch to get get the point when you revert you have two options and it is totally written in the messages you get get revert minus minus continue all conflicts are fixed if all conflicts are fixed let's say if we have any conflicts we do not have any conflicts so we can either revert uh, sorry we can either skip or we can abort for now let's skip like it's skip. Let's do what we uh, get. Skip. No message. All things are skipped. 
running same thing same could not resolve could not revert this line one from branch one could not do this after resolving the conflict mark them with this 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 run get revert about in either case now if you say about it will simply about the case it will about the revert fine get reverse about simply it will exit the process of revert okay home.txt deleted in parent of this get switch f f okay cherry pick cherry pick as the name suggests cherry in means remember app uh, like cherry on top of ice cream so cherry means something beautiful something good so cherry pick means if you want to pick something beautiful out of the entire list of commit you pick out that particular commit and apply it to your branch suppose we have list of uh, ice cream Okay, if we have time, we are running a little late. Suppose we have F2, uh, we are at F2. Mm -hmm. Mango, apple, banana. Uh, let's suppose for this. Add two fruits. Again, banana. Uh, let's suppose kiwi and dates. Again, get add two fruits more. Fine. Now, for two commit to get my messages can be same. Okay, it was not necessary. I just made that so that our git log appears a bit different so resolved fruit conflict added two fruits added two fruits more so i just made it so that it gets clear which commit was which right fine now our home.txt uh, has these things right now we switch to f1 we switch to f1 we have home.txt if we now this only has apple now if we want to cherry pick we want to pick only dates and kiwi and not apple and banana uh, okay so what we'll do we'll pick we'll pick up that particular commit in which that was done and then we'll apply here and that commit will include kiwi dates and all the commits done before right so uh get switch just a while get switch f2 i'm going just to see the logs so the log is ed80 okay 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 so get switch f1 and we get cherry pick e ed8 d0 okay auto merging because it was a difference of opinion again said merge conflict in home.txt could not apply why because it was different where it was different we'll see see we have head here and we have um, added two more fruits more here this was the commit ed 8de0 dates kiwi banana and apple apple is the same banana kiwi dates so these are the things which are different than your head head is here right now if you try to uh, you know do anything right now it is in middle of cherry pick cherry pick is a process right it is in middle so you will not be able to switch branch let me show you f2 you will not be able to switch branch cannot switch branch while cherry picking because it is in middle of cherry pick okay you need to solve this so how you'll solve is simply go to the file 
remove what you don't require. You don't require the things between these two. So there's nothing to remove. Now remove the three lines. Basically these three. And you are done. Get add. Get comment. Added three fruits. So he says, working tree clean on branch F1, everything's fine. Now, you know, here it was apple, banana, kiwi, and dates. What we have now, exactly the same thing. Apple, banana, kiwi, and dates. Now, Apple, banana, kiwi, and dates. Apple, banana, kiwi, and dates. So we cherry picked that commit in which all the commits were there. And then we picked up those commits. Uh, we picked up those changes and put it in our current branch. So this is cherry picking, picking specifically those commits. I guess that's it. Uh, I wanted to do a little more, but it's. 2113. Uh, so I think that will take up time. Uh, we will have a question answer now. I think that would be better if you get a, like, you know, we, you get your doubts solved. So for the rest of the time, I like to do the question answer session. Uh, okay. Yeah. That's it for today. If you want anything, question answer, I'm here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me open this. Yeah. Okay, so just a little bit of revision. Few commands, okay. So few basic commands, but important ones are just, uh, yeah. Merge conflict, we learned how to solve merge conflict. We learned about cherry picking a specific command, uh, a specific commit, cherry pick basically, picking out those commits and then putting it here. We understood revert back. We understood stash. We left out rebase because it will take definitely long for a rebase stuff. Just like we had merge conflict. So rebase is a technically strong uh, topic. So we'll discuss it further because it's important. It's important and yet it's very crucial. So I do not want to rush things. It'll take time. I'm up for any questions if you have. Or else we'll good to go. Yeah. I guess that's it. Uh, we will need. I mean, yeah. We. You are free to take any number of. You know references if you want from the git documentation i will send the link in the chat or uh, i'll in the zoom chat so you can follow up with that that's it thank you i guess it's 9 15. uh in the next section we'll surely cover git rebase it's a very important concept and we'll do a revision of all what we have covered so far that, that's it thank you guys have a good day Bye-bye.